What's up, guys? All right. Happy New Year to you. Hope you're enjoying your New Year's Eve. What's up, Devin? What's up, Jeremy? What's up, Alyssa, Nicole, Devin, Manny, Mark Strayer? What's up, my brother? Clay, how you doing, man? You taking care of them babies? I hope you're having a great New Year's Eve, Clay. Parker, what's going on? Happy New Year to you, Clay, man. Hope you have a great 2018. I want to help you have the best 2018 you've ever had. Can't wait for you to get back going on your program again in wholesaling. Junior, what's going on? Awesome, brother. Glad to hear that, Clay. Glad to hear the kids are doing good. Tiffany, what's going on? Devin, I've seen you on Cardone TV. Awesome, man. Awesome. So, guys, let's uh, let's get started. So, let's talk about goals, right? Um, you know, we're about to come into a new year. Today's the last day of 2017. And, you know, the Tom, what's going on? Nick, what's going on? You know, today I want to talk to you guys about, you know, goals, right? You know, everybody talks about goals. You got to, you know, you got to set new goals to 2018. You've got to, um, you know, you got to basically almost, you know, set these goals to where they're so huge and they're so big that you, you can achieve them and, and you know, yada, yada, and rah, 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 all like this stuff, renewing. right? Yeah, it's like a renewing. Every year it's rah, 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 right? You know, I find, guys, that, that what I find with a lot of people with writing goals, because I've been writing down my goals since I was, ooh, 24 years old, Patty, we've been writing down our goals. And it definitely works. But the key magic formula to writing down your goals, Matthew, what's up? Brian, what's up? Al, what's going on? You know, the key magic formula to goals and goal setting is believing, right? You can write goals down to you blue in the face, but if you don't believe in what you're, what you're writing down, it's not gonna happen. Because you've got, you've got intention and then you have what? Counter intention. Intention of the goal, so I'm gonna set this goal, but then you tell, like you write this huge goal down, I wanna, I wanna make a, you know, $10 million a year or whatever it may be, you know, even if it's 100,000 in one year, you write it down and then all of a sudden you're writing it down but you don't believe that you're gonna do that, guess what, it ain't gonna come true. The magic formula is, is but what you write down, you've got to believe it with all your heart. Like you've really, really got to believe it. If you're not believing it, it's not going to come true. And that's why a lot of people write all these New Year's resolutions and they never come true. Because they just write them down and they don't believe it. you got to write that shit down and believe it. And take action. And, and to, yeah, Patty, make a good point. And take action. Like you, gotta, you can't just write the shit down and magically it happens. Like write it down, believe, know it's going to happen and take massive action on it, right? So, you know, it, it's, it's funny because I see all these people like, oh, I have New Year's resolution, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do big things. That's great and dandy and I hope you do, but if you don't believe what you're doing, that you're gonna achieve these goals, you're cutting yourself short. As a matter of fact, there's, a, there's an awesome, awesome book written a long time ago. It's called the, uh, it's, I recommend anybody pick it up, everybody in this thread. It's called The Magic of Believing, right? The Magic of Believing. It's an awesome little book on mindset and belief. It's the Magic of Believing. Pick that book up and read it. It talks about how, you know, how, how critical belief is in setting goals. Andrew, you, you want to be on live, my brother? You want to come on live? Come on, let's bring you on live. That is guest. Come on. Mohammed. Yo, 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 what's up? How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Thank you for taking the request, man. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Uh, you look like a freaking movie star. <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> Just done it with, with the dog. Wow, look at that view. Where are you at? Where are you from? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Wow. It just took That's beautiful. Hey. That's Beautiful. So, man, we're talking about goals. You know, what, what, um, what are your goals for 2008? No, that's fine. 18, I'm sorry. 2008. Right. No, the, uh, that's what I wanted to touch up on a little bit. You know, I just uh, jumped in your live and uh, I wanted to, because, you know, everyone has their, uh, has their, uh, but the thing is, 
they don't have any plans. They don't have any plans, you know, behind them. And they just uh, say this uh, great things, you know, but, which is good, you know, to have big goals. But you have to have acts in the plan, you know what I mean? And uh, a lot of people, they don't have that action of plan behind them, you know. So they make this goal for the New Year's and then nothing. It just dis They just get discouraged even more, you know. Absolutely. What's funny, they just write it down. They, they, don't, they don't do anything but write it down. No, you got to go into depth, you know what I mean? You got you to gotta find out, well, you know what? If I'm planning on, if I'm planning on, for example, real estate, if I'm planning on flipping, you know, like 20 homes, well, you got to find out how you're going to get there, right? You got to make sure you're well connected and, uh, and you're, you're having deals brought to you or whatnot, or if you're buying or selling real estate, you know? You got to do all the things that's necessary to bring that that um, that business. Exactly, man. And look, who you were last year doesn't necessarily have to be who you are this year, right? In 2018, you can reinvent yourself. Like every year, I try to reinvent myself. I try to take myself to the next level. Just because you know you felt like you were somebody in, in the past, like you can be somebody else. Like. Write those freaking goals down. If you want to become a, a freaking rock star real estate investor or a rock star, whatever it may be, I don't know, a, uh, a doctor, a nurse, whatever, you know, contractor, whatever it is, you, you can be that person. You can be, do, and have whatever you want. But you really, you got to believe that you can do it. You can't just write that shit down and think that's going to happen. You got to take action in the physical universe and you got to believe that shit, right? So I think I lost the connection anyway. Anyway, so guys, I want to hear some of your goals. Mohammed, exactly. Just do it, bitch. <laughs> Mohammed, that's right, Mohammed. You got to make it happen, dude. Like, it's, it's funny. Everybody has these New Year's resolutions, but they're not willing to take action and, and believe in it. Ben, you have to believe to see it. Exactly, Ben. What's up, Ben? What's up, my brother? Hey, guys, if you're not following Ben, this guy has got some awesome, awesome content on you know um on just basically all the body right how to how to really have like unbelievable health ben actually is a huge advocate of which i'm a huge advocate of is a uh, intermittent fasting and um the ketosis right ketosis diet which i think is freaking awesome but anyway follow that guy he just put out a book ben ben what's the name of the book that you just put out i forgot what it's called i just finished reading i think it's called the perfect health book Stephen Miller, what's going on? Stephen's one of my students from Dayton, oh, not Dayton, Columbus. I always forget. No, what it's Dayton, Ohio. Is it Dayton, Ohio? No, that's Jared Miller. Jared Miller's from Dayton, Ohio. The Perfect Health Booklet, that's what it is. Guys, that book, it's short and sweet. It gives you a bunch of golden nuggets. It's freaking awesome. Awesome little book. So, anyway, guys, um, let's see. I think I think Nick wants to come on. All right, let's uh, let's... Let's have Nick come on. All right. What's up, Chris? Yo, yo, what's up, my brother? You having a good new happy new year? Or new Year's Eve? I'm out uh, buying houses today. How's that sound? Absolutely. Dude, that's awesome. Absolutely. That is freaking awesome. So uh, I want to I want to tell everybody how you've inspired me to uh, change my life and the goals that I'm setting because of you. Awesome, man. So, so if you don't know, guy, if you guys don't know who Nick is, he's a student of mine from Las Vegas. He's a freaking killer flipper, and he's a he's a definitely a, a ten xer. I call him a, a hundred xer. Yeah. So, uh, I, I started with Chris about six weeks ago, and I'm just wholesaling in Las Vegas. And uh, I've obviously signed up for Grant Cardone's uh, mentor program, and Grant's really inspired me too. So I told Chris. Uh, when I first started, I said, my goal in 2020 is to do a hundred, hundred million in sales and 20 million in commissions. And I said, Chris, I want you to help me get there. And, uh, Chris, you've given me the inspiration to take that action. And so is Grant Cardone. I've been following him and I think I'm actually going to hit my goals before then. Um, and, uh, Dude, that's all awesome. Chris is, uh, the fire in his voice and what he does for me on a daily basis, talking to him and, uh, helping me has just been a huge part of, uh, already starting my success and uh, write down my, my goals. I never wrote down my goals before, ever. And uh, I've been writing them down for 30 days. And I, 10Xing my business, not 
in a month or two months or whatever, I'm taking action. In fact, on his uh, website today, uh, me and my son did a video. Uh, we were doing 500 mailers a week. This week, we decided to do 3,000 a week. And next week, we're sending out 5,000 a week. So in order to 10x my business, I had to increase my mailers from 500 a week, which was 2,000 to 20,000. So um, we had 14 people in our office doing the mailers today. So Chris, I want to thank you for all the inspiration and all the great stuff in your coaching that you do for me. And uh, I know you're going to make me one of the best wholesalers nationwide, guaranteed. And I want to. Oh, no doubt about it. And I believe, and I believe 100% in you. You know, look what look what Nick's doing on New Year's Eve, guys. You know, he's driving around going look at deals. Yeah. That's what it takes. I mean, he, he's doing what it takes. Like, look, if you don't have, you know. $50 million, $20 million. If you're not happy with your financial situation, but you're taking it easy on the weekends and hanging out with buddies and freaking watching football games, but you're complaining that you don't make enough money, that's bullshit, dude. Like, go out there and, and work your ass off on Saturday, Sunday, all this shit about you don't work on Sunday. I, I'm sorry. I just I don't it's, believe it's, that. I it's think, bullshit. Tomorrow morning, we're starting. It's at, bu exactly. It's bullshit. We're, we're starting you. at 4 a.m. at my office tomorrow. And from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m., I'm going to do a live Facebook uh, with me and my son. And we're, we're mapping all of our goals out. We're going to show the whole world what our goals are. And everybody's going to know what kind of action we're taking. We're going to go through the whole process. It's probably going to be about a 30-minute video on both places. But I'm going to, I hope it inspires people like Chris and Grant Cardone has inspired me because I never thought it was possible before. And I thought, ah, oh, you know, if you make a million dollars a year, it's great. But that's nothing. I, I want to make $100 million a year. Exactly. You got you to think way bigger. Absolutely. No doubt. So, Chris, I just want to thank yeah. you for all your help and, uh, the, the, like I said, the fire in your voice and the inspiration you gave me. And, man, I'm not giving up. We're going to watch it happen. Oh, I, dude, I know you're going to do big things. I just – you you, uh, you inspire me because you have so much drive, and I, I love watching you because there's not too many people that have that fire that you have that, that – that's, I know you're going to do big things. There's no doubt about it. So Absolutely. That's awesome, so, man. Well, I wish you a happy new year. Awesome, bro. And uh, appreciate all your help. And uh, I recommend anybody watching this uh, to be involved with Chris or Grant Cardone, any of them. They're, they're awesome people. Um, Chris was uh, obviously endorsed by Grant Cardone. That's why I'm with Chris. I want to be with the best. Because if you're not with the best, you're not going to be the best. There's no doubt about it. you got to surround yourself with, with people that are – greater than you or know, know more about the trade than you, whatever it is. Yeah, man, you, you can't be, um, you can't be bashful. Like, you know, if somebody, if somebody has what you want, you know, surround yourself with them. And, and, you know, some people get so hung up about hiring a mentor or a coach. Like, dude, I don't know everything. If I don't know about something, like I'll go find somebody that has what I want or knows what I want and I'll pay them. Like, that's just how it is. Like, you know, you've got to invest in yourself. You've got to go out there and really, dive deep with people that that in mastermind with people that have the knowledge that you want and mastermind like you know it, it's as simple as that you know in you know nick you know he, he's actually a huge flipper over there in las vegas and you know he wanted to learn the wholesale and business like i'm not a huge flipper you think i'm gonna you know i do do i do flips yes but if i want to learn about flipping it's not i'm not gonna go and, and not be bad i'm gonna hire somebody that knows a ton about flipping you know it's, it's if, if somebody knows something that i don't know like Go after it. Go in and hire these guys, right? So you got to hire mentors. Nick, I mean, what, how do you, what do you think about mentors, how important it's been I, in your I've life? I've never had a mentor. I have a high school education. Um, I, I, Listen to this, guys. High school education. I, I ran a construction and, company uh, that did four and a half, five million dollars a year in revenue up until uh, two years ago when I decided to start flipping and making myself rich instead of everybody else. And I finally realized about six months ago when I was watching Cardone that I need to do something different. I said, this isn't working for me. You know, yeah, I'm plateaued at four and a half million dollars a year in revenue. And I wanted to uh, change my life. So I, I, I got myself involved uh, with all of Grant's material, decided to be an ambassador for him. I'm going through Cardone University. And then I seen Chris and I hooked up with Chris. And uh, I, I'm just learning so much from mentors. And I even I thought it was so great that I spent about $15,000 of my own money uh, taking people to the 10X conference because I want to help change their lives because they're going to help me change my yep. lives. That's how good I thought it was, was donating $15,000 of my hard-earned money to help people. So at the end of the day, you have, to, you have to have a mentor. You have to have a coach. You have to be involved with people 
that are billionaires. You have to be involved with people that are hustling every day, you know, and if you don't do it, you ain't going to have anything in life. And you know what? If you don't want that, that's fine, but that's not me. I'm not going to settle for nothing but a prosperous life, period. Exactly. Or you look at the, you know, the biggest, baddest CEOs, athletes for, that run these Fortune 500 companies. And if you read some of their biographies, which I have, what's the one, the biggest thing that they all say, it's a common thread. They all had great coaches and mentors. Like these guys weren't just, yeah, they probably had natural gifts and talents, but you've got to get a coach. You got to get a mentor. Like you can skip the learning curve. Like it's a cheat sheet for life. Why wouldn't you go from where you are now to where you want to be? Like, instantly right absolutely why would you do that people get people get very prideful thinking that, that you know they, they don't want to hire somebody to help them with a certain niche business or something that they don't know about it's it's really short changing themselves big time so for sure but anyway nick awesome brother thanks for coming yep. on nick's one of my students in las vegas um he's gonna be with me at the growth con he's coming to, to the next growth con so you know if you want to if you guys want to come, I still have a few tickets left. I don't have many. I think we have like two or three tickets left for Growth Con. So if you want to go to chrisrude.com and book a call with me, I'd love to help you with real estate investing, especially wholesaling. That's my niche. Um, I'm really good at it. Um, but, yeah, man, Nick, I really appreciate it, brother. Thank you, and uh, I'm sure I'll be talking to you tomorrow. Absolutely. So happy just happy New Year. Happy right, New Year, brother. You Take Bye. care. All right. Bye-bye. Anyway, guys. Becky, what's going on? Matt, Cameron, sorry I lost you. Great talk. Yeah, that's all right, my brother. You can always come on. Dustin Smith, what's going on? Mark, what a great back and forth, Chris. Awesome, Mark. Becky, happy new year, Becky, yeah, to you, absolutely. Look, guys, I mean, if if you're not happy with the way 2017 happened for you, it's okay. Like, you can start over anytime you want. Like, reinvent yourself. Set some goals, write them down, but here's the magic formula that I was telling you guys about earlier. Like, you got to believe in yourself. If you're writing down goals and not believing in yourself or believing that you can achieve that, this shit's not going to work. Make sure, you know, get a, get a list. Say you write down 10 goals. Now, obviously, you're going to have some that are huge and some that are, you know, medium-sized, some that are, you know, smaller goals. You want to find that sweet spot that you know that you really, deep down in your heart of hearts, that you believe that you can achieve and actually believe don't take the biggest one the number one that says maybe i want to be a billionaire right that's kind of it's tough i mean let's just be honest most of us aren't going to be billionaires but if you can take a goal that actually is 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 real to you it's like really real like man i can really do this write it down and believe believe that's the magic formula if you guys are jumping on grab the book the magic of believing it was written back i think in the 19 it was written a long time ago, 1930s or 40s. The Magic of Believing. It's a phenomenal book, guys. But you have to write your goals down. What's that, as, Patty? You have to write your goals down as if you've already achieved it. Yeah. Yeah. Patty, how long have we been writing our goals down? I was doing the math 12 years. And how many? Aiden was, Aiden was like six months. How ago. many of those goals have come in? Like almost all oh, of them. I, I would say at least 90% of our, yeah. at least 90% like, of goals that we wrote down. Remember the next week we bought our shop? We wrote our goals down and like a week later we bought our shop. Our, our mushroom. Yeah, yeah, that was probably yes. 12 years ago. Yeah. And like even, it was almost instant. What? No, we, the, what was instant the was property, the property in yes, Youngsville that we wanted. True. We wrote down the next day. The next, my wife wanted this piece of property in Youngsville. I've been eyeing it for years. For years, and she wrote it down the next day. A I realtor. Got a call from she got Jessica a call. saying this property is available. Would you like to um, put an offer on it? We're like, yes. There was like 14 offers behind us, y'all, and we were the first one. We crazy, crazy shit, right? Crazy. Like if you guys don't believe in the law of attraction. And some of you guys think that's hocus pocus and a bunch of bullshit. I'm here to tell you, it's not. Like, write your goals down. But the, the key to the law of attraction and just, you know, making things manifest in your life is believing. Believing. You, you, can't, you can't just write the shit down and be like, okay, I wrote it down. Well, like, you have to put it out there. You, you got to put it out there and believe it. And it, it's got to be real to you. You know? Ruben, what's up? Eric Volkers, what's up, my brother? Calvin Williams. Anyway, guys, um, you know, I just wanted to make this quick video because it's like, you know, it's it's true. You know, it, it, people write all these goals down every single year and they get disappointed. And, you know, and I could honestly say that I crushed my goals in 2017, crushed them, killed them because I believe in myself, you know, and I'm not arrogant. I'm not cocky. I just I believe in myself. I know what I'm capable of. I know what I can do. And that's the kind of that's the kind of intuition you have to have in your gut. Like when you write down your goals, like 
I know I can do this shit. Like as I'm writing, like I can do this shit. This is, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to crush it. But if you're writing this shit down and you like in your mind, you're like, uh, I'm hoping this, this is going to happen. Let me just write you this down. No, you, you can't hope. You, you can't you hope. Have, no, you can't hope to know. Steps. You got to know like you know. Like yeah. you got to know in your heart of hearts like I'm going to kill this shit. Like I, I know I can do this. And don't worry about, you know, the how of how it's going to happen. You know, just just don't worry about that. Just write it down and believe that it's going to happen. And shit just happens. Like it's crazy. It's magical. Like shit really does happen. The secret of what? The well, yeah, they know. I just talked about the law of attraction. Yeah, yeah, they could pick up the secret. I mean, it's well, the key is that they don't talk about in, in the in the secret, though. It's funny because I'm a big law of attraction. But guy. it's a good first step. Yeah, it's a good first step. But th that all boils down to belief. Like yeah. you gotta believe. In and what they you're say doing. that in the. In, they say believe like you know, like you yeah, know, like you like know, you know yeah. it's gonna happen. Yep. Because Alex, what's like up? Ruben, hey Chris, I just reached my 2007 goal of reading 60 books this year. Finished the last. Dude, that is awesome, dude. That's Look, a great goal. readers, you know, leaders are readers, man. I mean, it, it's, it, it's true. I mean, I, I read. I mean, you guys, my wife. I'm, I'm up at four in the morning every day, reading like it's, it's religious. Like it's my religion. I wake up and I drink my coffee early in the morning. But you weren't always that way. No, I wasn't always that way. You just probably the made past the decision. Probably to... what the past seven, eight years yeah. I've been doing that, reading books like that. Right. And uh, you know, it's, you know, you know, I read something. I forgot who said. It. I think it was Robert Kiyosaki. He says, don't. Um, don't work to, well, how he said that, don't work to, for money, he said, work to learn, like, don't work for money, work to learn, I forgot exactly how it's worded, but you got to read a lot of books, man, I mean, books, books are the most powerful thing, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous how much value you can get out of books, you can literally have mentors from across the world that have done big things, and you can just read their books, so, anyway, Amar, the power of belief, that's right, exactly, Amar, the power of belief is huge, my brother, and the power, and, and uh, the power of the subconscious stuff. mind, yeah, that's a great book, too, Exactly. Don't stay stuck in the poor me mentality. Like yeah. Luck and all that. It's not luck. Yeah. It, no. Exactly. Don't. My wife just made a good point. Don't get stuck in the the poor me mentality. You know, it's it's a mentality of victim, right? Yes. All the it's yes. a victim mentality. Like they look poor at other people me. that are successful and like, oh, they yeah. they 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 got, they got lucky, or they uh, it's because or their mom. parents got money or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's bullshit. Like. There's the, the amount of people that I know that are super successful. I mean, look at Oprah. Oprah. Yeah. I mean, she the, had nothing. Yeah. The, she created that the, for herself. Most people that do big things that I know, that I'm friends with, they did this shit on their own. Like, and they worked their ass off, and people say they're lucky. No. No. Like, dude. It takes work, more than luck to work yeah. that hard. But the thing is, you know, when you work hard, you get lucky. Mm -hmm. When you work hard, you get lucky. Well, it's the right like, things come your way because you're in the yeah, right exactly. position. And the right people. Donna said, visualize your goals being account absolutely I'm glad mm -hmm. you brought that up Donna let's let's yeah, talk about that visualization is huge that's another key to having a vision board writing it down and vi like seeing it in your mind in your mind's eye right we all have a mind's eye right it's the subconscious mind like you have to visualize that shit in your head like see yourself living there living there and, or, and achieving that goal that and feeling it feeling it in your like feeling the emotion of like having that particular i don't know whatever it may be a mercedes benz oh, or and go that drive business it. like they said in yeah the, go drive go it go drive it go feel it go but but you got to visualize it though can't hey buddy would you like to talk to about this hey, hey would you like to talk to you about this sometime awesome can yeah let's do that my brother Fernando, luck is a byproduct of the one who takes the most action. Absolutely. Look, Fernando, I'm so glad. It's so true. You know, luck follows intentional action. Luck follows intentional action. Now, you can't just go into action all crazy. And, like, you have to have intention. Like, know what you want, state it, write it down, believe you're going to get it, and, and go for it. Like, and you'll get lucky. That, that, it's the craziest thing, but it's so true. That's, a, that's great, Fernando. Luck is a byproduct of one who takes the most action. Absolutely. Rob, what's up, my brother? Uh, let's I sit around see. watching TV all day saying, poor me. And yeah, The Power of the have. Subconscious Mind is a great book. I've read that one too, Donna. That's a great book. Sharon Bentley. Hey, what's up, Sharon? How's, uh, how's Darren Bentley been? He's been all right? Michael, Ruben, the more opportunities I take, the more lucky. Yeah, look, mm -hmm. the... <laughs> You only got to be lucky one time, guys. You, you know, you just got to hit. You're gonna. Are you gonna fail? Absolutely. You can't be scared of failure. Like I've, I've probably started 10, 12 businesses my lifetime, and, and probably half of them have failed. But I've had two of them that have done really, really good, right? Like keep killed trying. it. And you just keep trying. Like you can't be scared of failure, guys. It's, it's so true. And you have to recreate Amar, yourself. Luck, laboring under correct knowledge. I love that, Amar. Luck, 
the acronym look laboring under correct knowledge mm -hmm. that's that's really really good man I like that that is so true it's so true Eric it's all about the grit the question is how many people can get hit hard and get back up absolutely mm -hmm. like you're gonna get hit hard I can't tell you how many nights that I've been you know my wife could tell you like I've, I've opened so many businesses that it, it's like I've come back, like what the hell I got oh, it's myself gonna into. Be stressful. It's gonna like, be stressful. It's not gonna be easy. And if it was easy, then everybody would do it. It's, it, it sucks, you know. But yeah, it's you just, how you handle that stress. You gotta, you gotta be situation. mentally tough. Like you really do. You gotta, mm -hmm. you gotta psych yourself out. Like you really do. There's some nights that, um, you know, it's like, man, what? I couldn't sleep. Like I've had in, such anxiety. But that's just part of the game. And, and just know that 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 if you're gonna get into business or entrepreneurship, you know that that's going to happen and it's part of the game and it's okay you know it, it's it's a labor of love and, and but you'll get through it you know well you'll learn too yeah you'll learn exactly so Danny what's up Ivan what's going on Kurt Eric your wife knows just like the school system for me healthcare. Yeah. <laughs> that's right my brother that's right but anyway guys I want to hear your goals I want to hear what you're up to in 2018 I hope that you're going to set some good goals but I want you to believe in them right believe in them. I feel like you know, I feel like I've been, you know, really lucky in my life. A lot of things have gone right for me. And I feel like because I believed in myself and that and it's not about being um, cocky or no, arrogant. It's about, no, no, no. It's about feeling that you deserve it. Yeah. and, and Because and, we, you know, when you do the right thing and your complete intention is to do the right thing, then all those things that you um, write down as your vision, yeah. you feel deserving of those things so they can come to you. I mean, well, your intention, is, yeah. Patty brought up a good point. Like, you got to have good intentions. If you don't have good intentions, you know, it, it's it's really, um, you really short change yourself. Like, if you have bad intentions, and I know some people think, you know, they watch some of these Hollywood movies and it's crazy. Like, people do crazy stuff and they get ahead by screwing people. Like, anytime that I've seen people, like, screw other people, they may have went, they may win the, the battle, but you always lose the war. Like, you got to have good intentions. You got to want to help people. You got to want to do the right thing. You know, that's why I started a coaching company, right? I wanted to help people. Like, I wanted to help get people into the real estate game. They thought that, you know, you don't need to have millions of dollars to get in the real estate game like me. Like, you just really need to hustle, a little bit of marketing money, and, and some dedication and belief in yourself. Clay says, failure is not an option. Yeah, Clay. Yeah, Clay, uh, that's exactly right, that's my brother. That's how we live. Yeah. It's, it's not an option, you know, to not do well <laughs> yeah clay's one of my students from colorado he's an awesome awesome guy but anyway guys you know that's why i started a coaching company because i wanted to help people people say well you know if you're doing so i've had some people tell me it's funny well chris if you're doing so well with real estate why didn't you start a coaching company why wouldn't i want to start a coaching company you would, they say well it must be about money well yeah of course i want to get paid would you think i do it for free however i get joy out of helping people i really do like you i'd sincerely because you got a huge win of you had a huge yeah. win and you wanted to share that with people. Yeah, I mean, what what better way to give back than to show people what you do? You know, do I charge people? Absolutely. Like, yeah, I charge. I mean, it takes I'm, your time. It takes up my time. But what I give is hugely out of proportion to what they receive. Like, I mean, or what I, what I take in payment is hugely out of, I mean, I literally charge pennies on a dollar for what I charge for my coaching from what the they, from what with information and, and the results. Mm -hmm. The results the they time. get. I mean, I know I've probably got some students on here right now that that are, you know, Stephen Miller's one of them, Nick's one of them. They all killing it for me helping them, you know, and that's rewarding, you know. Tim Silk, Tim, dude, guys, look, Tim Silk is one of my students. He's on here. He says this is from Damon John's talk. Shark, S set a goal. H have a plan. A armor. Love it. Or remember your brand kick keeps swimming. Awesome. I love that, Tim. Tim is actually, he just turned 18. He's from Delray Beach, Florida. Just He's joined so my program. No, Tim, you're a straight stud, dude. Yeah. You're a gangster. Like To think like he's thinking anything. At 18 age. years old, I wish, like, you're going to do big things, my brother. Like, you talk like you're 30 years old. You talk, and when I speak to you, I still can't believe you're 18 years old. Like, you're so, you're so way above what, you know, that, you know, what your age is, dude. That, but... Tim's hitting me up all, all the time about it. Matter of fact, we talked yesterday about a deal that he has in Delray. Like, he's just 18 years old hustling. I love it, dude. You're going you're gonna to kill real estate. Ivan, Chris, I want to get more friends, become a better friend for others, and help 500 families reconnor uh, their own home. Awesome, Ivan. Yeah, that, that's awesome, my brother. I think Ivan does, um, I think he does uh, owner financing. 
Or is it rent to own? Tim says, like Jordan Belford. <laughs> That's awesome. Armor, I like what we must feel that we deserve it. Yeah, exactly, Armor. We got it. What my baby? Oh, I'm sorry. What's wrong? He, he wants to play on your phone. You want to play on my phone? It's over there. Go get my other phone. You want to play on my phone, little baby? All right. Let's go. Anyway, guys. Um, Ruben, I plan to do one deal a month in 2018. I'm also scheduled to close my first deal. Dude, that is awesome, Ruben. Congratulations on that, dude. You can definitely do one deal a month, man. That's very doable. Um, you know, if, if you need help, go go on my YouTube channel. I give away a lot of free content, Ruben. If you want to, uh, as a matter of fact, I think you already subscribed because you've commented a lot on my on my channel. But guys, if you want to learn about real estate investing, I give a lot of free content on uh, my YouTube channel. Go subscribe and uh, watch. I give tons of content. Elizabeth, I think that you are destined for things for a particular way of living, for doing some things. Life will put people, messages like most of us have been across people like Tony Robbins, the book, The Secret, so many things that prepares us for that success that is for us. Absolutely, mm -hmm. Elizabeth. Absolutely. I totally 100% agree. Awesome, awesome. You have There's to be open to taking in those things because... When I first watched The Secret years ago, I loved it so much. Like, I literally stopped what I was doing when the show was over. And I drove 30 minutes to town and I bought three more copies. And I gave them to the people I cared about and loved the most that I felt like could, you know, take in the information. And so um, I felt like, like, I have to do this. Like, I have to tell more people about it. So I did that, and a lot of them were like, oh, my gosh, that was, like, amazing. I'm so glad. I'm so thankful. But then some of them, they just didn't want to believe that it was possible. Like, With lots of things. I don't care what, pe I don't care what they say. They just, it's been it was, backed up by science. Mm -hmm. Thoughts are things. You, you know, you're putting out a vibration, a frequency with every thought, good, bad, and different. I don't care what it is. You're putting out a thought, and you're attracting in your life certain happenstances, circumstances, events, People, people, everything jobs, like opportunities, opportunities or you know anything like you attract this shit. I don't care what what you know what your non naysayers believe. This is physics. This is backed by science. Your thoughts create radio waves and frequencies and vibrations that bad or good. Bad or good. Yeah, that will attract certain things. Mm -hmm. So you, you know, have to be willing to accept um, the new information that. Yeah, I know it, it was. It's kind of um, it's kind of taboo. Some people are yeah. still caught up in like the old think of you know you can't think like that or it's um, or all I have to do is pray about yeah, it. Yeah, pray. I mean, like, well, prayer is almost the same. It's almost the same it thing. Is. As, it as, is. It is in a lot of ways, but you also have to take action on it. You yeah. can't just sit down and pray about it yeah. and think it's gonna work. Like you have to take action yeah. on those things also. Kurt says, "Happy New Year to you and your family. Thanks for all the knowledge you share. My goal for 2018 is 24 wholesale deals and two buy holds. That's an awesome, awesome goal. That's Kurt. totally doable. Totally doable, Kurt. That's awesome, brother. How many you did your first year? First year in business, I think. I think we did. I think we did about 55 or 60 my first mm -hmm. year. Yeah, first year in business. So that's awesome, brother. You can definitely do that. Tim, let's see." You undercharge people. This program should be 25K. Guys, listen, this is from one of my students. I'm not making this stuff up. Tim is one of my students from Delray Beach. I charge literally nothing for my program. Like, what I give you is so much value. The possibilities. The possibilities are and endless, the know-how. Really. Know you know, Tim says, you, you undercharge people. Your program should be 25K. Mm -hmm. No, and he's right. Look, Stephen Miller, he's another one. It's, it's way, he says, it's way underpriced. It's true, guys. Like, I, I give you so much knowledge like I don't, I don't I don't just talk about wholesaling we talk about buying hold I own a lot of real estate um, you know flipping I've done a quite, quite a bit, uh, few flips wholesaling right and just like just goals and entrepreneurship I've, I've started a lot of businesses right I, I, have, I have a lot of knowledge I can help you with I want to be your mentor right in 2018 every I'm, deal is a different yeah, deal every, so every you know well it's just uh, well, here, here's what this is why this is, is why I, I tell people I'm the number one wholesale coach in the country because I service people. When I say I service people, I'm there for you and I help you with your deals. Like I'm, I talk to you on a daily basis if you need. Like I'm there for you. Like I want to help you. It, and it's it's different. Like most people you hire, you're gonna charge you tons of money, and you can talk to them once a week. You could talk to me every day if you need. That's how committed I am to my students. So, awesome. Thank you for that, Tim and Steven. Steven's killing it. Steven's got like thirty thousand dollars in his pipeline. 
and uh, he's from Ohio. It's awesome stuff. Roman, and what's Stephen going on? Stephen has an eighth grade education. Yeah, and Stephen, Steve, I don't even think uh, finished high school, by the way. So right. this this mindset of you have to go to college, you have to do this, you have to do that to be successful is a bunch of a bunch of BS, guys. So uh, Tim, straight gangster. Yeah, you are a straight gangster, my brother. Nick says Tim kills it. Absolutely. There's a happy New Year's to everybody. Michael, Thomas, Michael, Chris, love what you're doing. Hey, I appreciate that, Michael. Really do. Thanks for following me, brother. Uh, Michael, I'll see you in February. How many of you guys are going to GrowthCon? I want to see. I want to meet. If, guys, if you're going to GrowthCon, come to my booth. I'm going to have a booth set up. And matter of fact, I'm going to be the first booth over there. I'm the main booth at GrowthCon because I'm the platinum sponsor over there. Um, come visit me. I want to, you know, I got some swag I'm going to be giving out. I got tons of hats, shirts pins and uh you know just a bunch of swag i want to give away so come come talk to me at growth con i want to know you i want to know, i want to meet you i want to shake your hand and uh get to know you right brandon what's up Brittany, dawn what's going on dawn whale whale's one of my students alan stewie fernando and if they don't believe that then and if they don't believe that then they can't Deny that thoughts create your actions and that creates mm -hmm. your life. Exactly, Fernando. Like you have, to, you believe. have to believe. Like if you don't believe, then you just it's intention. Mm -hmm. If you have if you believe in yourself, then that's an intention to believe. But then if you don't believe, if, if you write down your goals and you don't believe, it's counter intention. Mm -hmm. And it just it just basically cancels it out. Write down your goals and believe the shit. Like believe it. Look no. at look at them often too. Yeah. You're absolutely. supposed to you know because you can have daily goals. Yeah. But you have to go back and keep reading over them. Yep, absolutely. Elizabeth says, that's what I meant. Some of us are going to believe and others know because they are not this and like a lot of us are. Go to YouTube and look at the interview that, that did oh, yeah. Oprah about the no, secret. Yes, the Oprah really about the secret, that show, the original show is the show. My, my, I was still on maternity leave because I had just had a baby. Aiden is 12 now. He'll be 13. So that was a poignant moment of like my life and at the time I was working at a place um, that was basically a, a restaurant where all the richest people in my area went so when I started looking into it all the all the people doing well in my area had already read the book had already watched the movie had already like they were already doing all these things and I was like oh, this was like life change it was like um, that that was a very poignant time in our life I think because yeah. we both just like took it and ran like we we're like this is awesome information and we want everybody to know yeah. um so that's exactly well, where and and goals first you know you, you definitely got to write the goals down you don't want to just talk about them like you need to write them down because it's it makes it real mm -hmm. nothing that's un, nothing that's not in writing isn't real like you got to put it in the physical mm -hmm. universe write this shit down all right tim says anyone here who is not in chris's program do whatever you have to do to get in go into debt if you have to you get 100% access to Chris, worth every penny if you work hard and put in the effort. And Absolutely. honestly, Appreciate people go that, into yeah. college debt all, all the time. Well, it's crazy. No, it, you it, know, that, I mean, that is right of a good point. Like, I, I can give you a master's degree in real estate wholesaling for pennies on the dollar, for, for like a fraction of what it would cost you to get a, a college degree. And my program will make you more. I'm sorry. Some of you may get mad because I said my program will make you more than a college degree will. My program will make you more than your college degree. So... Anyway, Alan says, yes, sir, Ruben 10X. See you there again, my man. Awesome. Let's see. The world responds to the vibe that you get out, and that is where your results come. Absolutely, Alan. Appreciate that. That's, it. That's true. Bad vibes, bad reciprocation, bad res Absolutely, man. Whatever you put out, whatever you put out, you get back. I mean, if you put out bad, bad vibes, you're going to attract bad people. Simple as that. You know, it's... It, it, it's so true. I mean, whatever you think about, you know, what's that guy's name? Earl, Earl Nighting, Nightingale, I think his name is. He says, you become what you think about the most. You become what you think about the most. You, bec you become what you think about the most is exactly yeah. what he says. You become what you think about the most. And it's so true. And uh, he, he wrote the book, The Strangest Secret. That's another good book to pick up. The Strangest Secret by... Uh, was it Dale Nightingale? Uh, or I forget his name. Anyway, pick up The Strangest Secret. It's, it's a badass book. Crystal, what's up? Trevor, what's going on? Justin, 
Let's see, Trevor. I'll be scheduling my call this coming week. Awesome, Trevor. Look forward to talking to you, my brother. Fernando, Chris always, always over delivers. Appreciate that, Fernando. Cam, Cam, what's up, Cam? Ruben, the truth hurts. Yeah, man, it's true. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, college is great. Look, I'm not knocking college. If you're gonna go, if, specialize. If you specialize, you become a doctor, an attorney, a nurse, an engineer. All these different things that are specialized fields. Yes, absolutely, go to college. But I'm telling you guys, they pulled the, they they duped a lot of us. I have a college degree. I went to school. I, I spent. Too. My wife did too. We both have college degrees. We spent. My parents probably well, spent a hundred thousand dollars. We're lucky team. because our parents paid for our college, but. I never once used it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, if I'd have known about real estate when I was, when I got out of school, like Tim, Tim's 18, if I'd have known how to do this when I was 18, oh my God, I mean, I would have never went to school. I would have, I would have been in real estate. I'd probably be worth 10 times more than I'm worth now. Al, Alan says, Earl Nightingale. Thank you for that, Alan. His name was, uh, you know, getting hung up on my tongue. Yeah, absolutely. That's his, he's awesome. So, Chris, what are your goals for 18? Nick, that's an awesome um, question. You know, you, you know, the thing is, I like to keep my goals to myself, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's for me, my brother. But no, I, I, uh, I have a few goals. Well, what are your goals, Patty? Um, well, like Eric uh, wrote earlier, I really want to find the right kind of schooling for my kids. Like it's it's been um, it's been a long hard road with schooling them um so i want to find something with more of an alternative education so that's like a big goal of mine awesome um, yeah we we got some kids that are you know we have when you have five kids guys not all of them are the same like we have some kids that struggle in school and it but look and it's okay you know it, it i'm okay with it. i struggle in school i was at dc sometimes f student i barely passed school i still graduated college but it doesn't you, you're if you're young and you're watching this thread and you're in high school and you're not good at school or even if you're not good in college, it don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. What you do in high school and college is not going to dictate or predict how well Nobody's you're Nobody's ever going to ask what your grades, what your grades were, were in, were in middle college. School. Nobody cares. What or you, high school. Nobody, nobody like cares. No banker has ever asked me when I go to bring my tax returns, hey, what, what did you make in college? What was your GPA? Or they don't give a shit. They want to look at they want to look that. at my my tax return and see how much mm -hmm. your your GPA when you get older is your tax return and at your the bottom. ethics. Yeah, and your ethics. Yeah, if you're a good person. Mm -hmm. But remember, it's your GPA when you get older does not define. No, you. your GPA when you get your GPA is your tax returns to the banks. <laughs> That's, they don't care about your GPA. Yeah, no. They they want to know how much money you made so they can see if they can you know give you money and trust you with money. So let's see, Joey. What's up, Edgar? Justin. Yep, A students works for C students. That's exactly, true. Tim. Great point. Yeah, uh, Tim, dude, you're awesome, dude. That, that, that's a book written by. Um, a lot of kids get pushed down yeah, from true. teachers I mean, about this, though, because they feel not good enough. Yeah. And I refuse to let my kids feel like that, which is why it's my goal to find a better school for them. Yeah, exactly. It, you know, it's so funny that you know you have all these straight A students. Some of the most successful people I know hardly passed school. They um, didn't go to college or barely passed college. You, you don't, and I'm not knocking people that are in college. Don't get, don't misinterpret. I'm not saying don't send your kids to college. Just don't send your college. Don't, don't send don't your think kids it's to college. Absolutely just, necessary. Yeah, don't send your Find kids to college because at. everybody says right. you have to send your kids to college. Right. You don't have. It's almost better to send them to and learn trade, a trade school. school. That's true. That's what we plan on doing. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, not all. It depends on what they yeah, want to do. Yeah, what they want to do. What they want to do. But I'm not going to force it down to third. They have to go to college, but. Anyway, Robert Kiyosaki, that's right, Tim. Yep, I have that book. Peter, what's going on, Ron? But anyway, guys, um, write your goals down. I hope you have a great 2018. You know, I want, I want to kill my 2018. I hope you guys kill your 2018. But the key that I wanted to tell you guys before we end this thread is just whatever you write down, believe it. Believe it. I know you and, deserve and, it. Well, and deserve it and be appreciative and see yourself. Visualize yourself in your mind's eye see yourself doing it and get the emotion of already having it right see it in your mind's eye and believe it that is the key ingredient is believing and pick up the book the magic of believing all right guys this is says check out my website my goal is to bring people together in the areas of mindset health and fitness yeah absolutely finances 
Exactly. And Tim says, kick ass, don't apologize. Exactly. Don't take no bullshit from nobody. No, and don't feel bad for doing well. Yeah, and listen. Hell yeah, with that. Yeah, if, if Go and do, do well. Do big things, yeah. If, if somebody's, you're going to have haters, dude. Like, yeah. I, you're going to have haters. They're going to talk about you whether you do good or bad. So just do but good. But you know what? The, <laughs> more, the, the better you do, the more people you can help. So don't let, you know, other people bring you down for doing well. Yep. You know? Absolutely, absolutely, guys. Anyway, guys, we're gonna sign off. We've got a, uh, we've got a roast going over there. I don't know if you can see. Going over there, mama, mama, check on that. You're probably burning it. You probably did you burn it? It's better when it's burned. Oh, so that means you burnt it. Yeah, that she burned it. <laughs> she burnt it. All right, guys. Anyway. Go to chrisrude.com, book a call with me. I want to help you. Look, I have a few tickets left to GrowthCon. And, uh, you know, if you want to learn real estate investing, wholesaling, flipping, buying, oh, I, I know it all. I say I know it all. I don't know it all, but I, I know how to do it all. But I'm mostly really, really mastered, you know, wholesaling, right? I can, I can help you crush wholesaling in the market. So book a call with me. Tim says, who is watching your, your uh, five kids? <laughs> My 18-year-old. <laughs> yeah, we have an 18-year-old. He's, he's out of the house right now watching all of them. That's funny, Tim. So anyway, yeah, Clay, I, I can't wait till you get, get, get back in, uh, Clay. I'll talk to you after the first, my brother. And uh, anyway, so guys, and look, if you're not following me on YouTube, go on YouTube at Chris Root. I have tons of free content. Follow me on – I, I did. I told him to come to Girls Time. You know, follow me on uh, uh, was it Instagram at Real Estate Rude. So, anyway, the people that talk negative, they're not sure what they want. Exactly. Like, the only time people talk negative is because they, uh, they basically, they're insecure. Insecure people talk about other people. Simple as that. If, if you're talking about other people, you need to look at yourself because you're just showing who you are, right? When I see somebody doing good, I'm happy for them. Like, man, what are they doing that I could do? You know, what are they doing that, that I'm not doing? I don't get mad at them. Like, you know, you, you want to get around the right people, right? Find people that are doing that are doing what you want to do, and, and, and put yourself around them. So, anyway, guys, you ha hope you have a good New Year's. I'll talk to you soon, and go to chrisrude.com. Peace.